welcome back to the channel guys so uh here we are found a nice little spot that i've been using uh here a couple times now because uh it's nice quiet i can film and i have actually gotten my drone stuck right back there on one of these trees so fun times but today's video i'm gonna be covering a little bit on the uh ppf that i got done on the car uh, just to give you guys some expectation management uh be able to have you guys think about if this is something you guys want to get done uh, because it's not for everybody uh, especially if you have like severe OCD uh, it's it's not gonna really bode well um, also I did end up getting tint on the car through the, the same guys which are awesome uh, Rapido Performance here in Grafenvir, uh, Germany they've been absolutely amazing they work in conjunction with LP Foils out of Nuremberg uh, awesome, awesome people. I got to actually hang out with them, um, and uh, especially got to go out to LP Foils and uh, hung out with them for the day. Got to spend the day with an absolutely beautiful Lamborghini that uh, it, it took everything in me not to just want to get in it and start touching it and everything. It was just amazing, uh, great experience. So when it comes to the PPF, right, it's going to really differ. Uh, in price depending on the material that you're going to use the type of film I went with expel and I didn't go with a matte color because the matte color is actually going to uh, Kind of shift the color from the front all the way to where you don't have PPF. So the PPF is pre-cut So this is going to be one of those areas where if you have like severe OCD It's going to get you because you are going to have areas that are going to get dirtied up and that they are gonna collect uh, dirt. It's not right in here, I gotta find a spot. Like right here, you'll have a little bit of a area where it's just gonna pick up dirt over time. Uh, it's easy to clean up with a um, uh, steamer, but again, it's one of those areas where dirt and gunk is gonna build up. Uh, also, it's not 100% unless you're getting the car completely wrapped. Body panels coming off, and having them actually wrap the entire portion prime example right there i got a rock chip right where the ppf starts on the way down and right here as you can tell it hasn't completely um cured onto the actual front bumper and perfect spot to show spot to show you guys Right there, that's that buildup that you guys are gonna get. Steam cleaner will clean that right up, but uh, again, it's not perfect. Uh, also, it's cooler. If you get this done during a cooler time, uh, these bubbles aren't gonna completely go away because of the uh, the temperature shift, and they use a lot of water to put that on. Uh, so just keep that in mind. As for the tint, I mean, it looks great, really standard. I went with nano uh, ceramic. So it keeps a lot of the heat out, uh, darkens the inside pretty well, and I think it just looks looks great. Gives the car a completely different look and a little bit more aggressive. Biggest thing, cost breakdown. It's going to depend where in the world you are, but you're looking at anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500, depending on the shop, how reputable they are, how good they are with their work. Uh, some people back up their work and you know you pay for what you get for. Uh, there's others that you pay something cheap, they didn't prep the car correctly, and six, seven, eight months down the line, that PPF is starting to come up or the uh, tint starts to bubble up and start coming off. But uh, that, that does it for this video. If uh, you guys have any questions, go ahead, throw them down on the comments. Uh, go ahead, support the channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. With that, I'm out.